Hi there, I'm Summer Huntington, founder of Club Bell Yoga. This is a Flow State of Mind interview with Ramiro. We are here in Costa Rica at Hacienda del Sol. Ramiro is the owner of the Retreat Center and they provide uh, yoga and detox cleanses and raw food diets and cleanses for people that want to come and have a complete reset. It's an absolutely stunning place and I'm really excited to be here and I'm even more excited that Ramiro has taken the time today to answer some interview questions. Um, so just to give you a little bit of background, yeah, thank you so much for being here. Um, just to give you a little bit of background about how we met, um, since he is an international uh, traveler and he's actually originally from Mexico. Yeah. Um, and we met in Bellingham, Washington at a CST seminar with Scott Sonnen. Mm -hmm. And since then we've kept in contact through social media and he has been wanting to bring um, Club Bell Yoga and TACFIT retreats to his retreat center because he feels that it is a really powerful system, which it is, to reset the brain in order to live a healthy and more balanced life. So if you wouldn't mind just sharing a little bit about how TACFIT and the CST system has changed your movement practice and changed your body, yeah. I'm sure they'd love to hear. Yeah, well, I think the, the main thing that I got from it was, it was the rewiring that I felt that I would get from it. Um, it was it was a change in attitude. It was a change in the way I related, not just with my body, but um, just with the world in general. I um, I had when before I started TACFIT, I had a lot of weight to lose, mm -hmm. and there wasn't really like I kept you know I kept trying different things, but I ne it never I never really landed in the changes that would come, the physical changes that would come with the diets. When I started practicing TACFIT, it was like I landed in the changes that I was going through. Like I was finally embodying whatever potential was being uncovered. I don't know if that's the right way of saying it, but... Um, yeah, so it, it sounds it, like it you're felt, home. Yeah, it, I, I, it felt like it was me. It, mm -hmm. Like, I would see it and... Because I remember before, if, if I would, like, change my body or something and I would look at a photograph, I never felt like that was me. When I started doing TACFIT, it just felt like I was more... I don't know if the word is grounded, but just em embodying the changes mm -hmm. that I was going through. Yeah. Awesome. TACFIT is mm -hmm. a really powerful system. Definitely check it out. TACFITacademy.com. You can get tons of information there. Mm -hmm. It's a system designed to help change your or uh, train your heart rate recovery and balance your hormones. And it helps people that are um, in the service, such as firefighting, to be able to handle complex tasks with a calm demeanor and a calm state. And the physiology mm -hmm. behind TACFIT TAC is incredible. Uh, Scott Sonnen developed it and put many years of research into refining the system. There's many different programs. Uh, but we'll go into a little bit more detail about what, what you've mm -hmm. seen um, your clients and your retreat guests, how you've seen their bodies transform a little bit later in the mm -hmm. interview, too. But thank you for yeah. sharing. It's, very nice to, it's always nice to hear. Like, I always um, want to kind of get a better understanding of where you guys come from when you mm -hmm. first begin the training. So it gives mm -hmm. me a little bit of perspective to know that, you know, you weren't always this really fit yeah. person, but it's yeah. like you hold that space and you hold that energy to be able to now run this retreat center yes. with a place of groundedness and power. Yes. So that's awesome. Yes. The, the, the skills were translatable to everyday life or, or stress, digesting stress. It was, mm -hmm. it was very, yeah, translatable, is that the word? Yeah. Um, it was easy to use what you will learn in a session and apply that to life, mm -hmm. general stuff. Yeah. Awesome. And I yeah. think what you're starting to get at is flow state, which we'll yeah. also go into a little bit more detail about too, because that's yeah. embedded in all of the systems through CST, um, TACFIT, Club Bell Yoga, Flow Fit. They all have yeah. that element of, of flow, flow physiology and flow science. Yeah. Um, all right, so my first question for you, um, what is your vision here at Hacienda del Sol as far as uh, your vision with the, um, the cleanses and the space, this container for change? Yeah. It's a, it's a place to it's to provide a place where people can digest their stress for what in, in whatever angle they need to come through. It's provide a space um, that, that, that that people's physiologies do what they really want to do, which is process this insane amount of constant stress that they're through. And we try to approach that through different angles, uh, yeah, through the juice cleanse. But this the juice cleanse are not for everybody. But the main component of what we want to try to create is, is what we believe is like a vitamin or a nutrient or something, I don't know what to call it, that, it, that being in nature gives you, mm. that is very lacking in a lot of people. And that just being in the space, there's a very nurturing quality, healing, healing, a healing quality to it. So the programs that we create 
it's almost like to allow people a window into that to allow that to happen because they're a little bit shut down a lot of the, like you know you come from like that buzz uh, from a north from a city um, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to allow this to to enter uh, but a big part of the work when you're here is it's done just staring at a plant I know that sounds kind of ridiculous but it's almost like you get the you know sometimes we tire you enough that being in a hammock and looking out into the jungle does what we think it does, which is completely distress you um, in a way that you can see clear. Mm. I think that that's the point of this, removing the stress, is to be able to see clear. Very nice. Yes. So what yeah. I'm hearing from Ramiro is uh, plugging into nature as a source yeah. of creativity and a source of healing. Um, yeah. Also using juice cleanses and detox cleanses to yeah. rid the body of the excess levels of stress that you yeah. maybe subconsciously carry when you're in city life yeah. um, and then providing a space to be able to experience that because we only really yeah. learn through experience like you can yeah. you can know the healthiest foods to eat you can know the exercises but without experiencing it and going deep and going into that immersion how can you really know it in your own body and exactly. in your own nervous system exactly so. it, otherwise it's just words mm -hmm. unless you have that physical experience it doesn't mean it doesn't mean anything yes yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. My next question for you around the specific cleanses and detoxes that you do, um, what type of emotional changes do you see in the guests as they drop into the space and as they're here for a longer yeah. duration of time? What, what sort of changes with them? Uh, they're, they're emotionally lighter. They're, um, you feel like you're communicating with them better when you talk to them, it feels more of a real exchange mm. rather than an automatic, just certain canned responses that you would have that you see at the beginning. Yeah, I don't know, for lack of a better word, that you start seeing the human behind all mm. that stuff, yeah? Um, so so it, it, just, it feels lighter. The communication becomes lighter too because that's relaxing when you talk to someone like that too. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think that's the main thing. You see them. bug <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah, you just, you know, you see them come in. You can uh, almost see the stuff carrying, that they're carrying, like in their bodies, right? Like the, the way it's being expressed in their shape. Um, and then they're just the way they're moving. You, even the clothes that they start wearing are, they start getting more comfortable in their bodies. And they start wearing like, a bit of lighter stuff, more flowy stuff. Um, yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Well, it sounds like what you're saying is that when guests arrive, that they are, uh, they're in a state of stress and they're in their uh, fight or flight response. They might be mm -hmm. kind of moving quickly and, um, you know, making sort of more shallow interactions. And then as mm -hmm. they're allowed allowed to um, slow down and connect with nature and connect with source and peel away the toxins and mm -hmm. get into more of a, a healing state, that they're able to have more authentic connections and be able to tap into love a little yeah. bit more and compassion and being able to connect with others. Yeah. It's really special that you're here holding yeah. that space for people. Yeah. Um, and you also do ketogenic diet. Yes. Um, so could you tell us a little bit about what that is and, and also why yeah. you were influenced to bring that into this retreat center? Into here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, well, okay, the main thing is we're trying to get people completely off sugar. Like, mm -hmm. to not be dependent on that. To, to switch their metabolism from using carb as fuel to using fat as fuel. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we we follow the classic like uh, you know set, uh, below thirty net carbs. To so for somebody that has no idea what ketogenic like a quick definition about a ketogenic diet, what does that mean? Would be your body's able to use fat as fuel instead of carbs as fuel. So that means you always have a steady source of energy that you plugged into because that's what this is for, mm -hmm. uh, rather than keep having to be eating um, constantly. And your brain starts working with fat. Too, which that is the main change that people that's when people start getting hooked on the ketogenic diet is because they always have a very steady source of energy they think clear like uh, they call it keto clarity mm -hmm. uh, so that's really what we're going for there's a again that this word is going to keep coming up a lot but there's a sense of freedom that mm -hmm. comes from that that you don't feel like you're you need to be eating so much mm -hmm. yeah that's why it's so good at losing weight it's not because your metabolism is working faster it's because you can go without eating so much. You don't need food so much. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. And then how did you decide to bring that, the ketogenic diet here 
and you were talking yeah. a little bit of earlier about Well, we, our path. background was in uh, juice cleanses. Um, when this is what the place used to be like 22 years ago, that we're, when my mother-in-law founded it, um, as it evolved, we want, uh, when I, the first time I did a juice cleanse, there was a certain feeling of, again, the lightness and clarity and all that, that I wanted to keep it going. Mm -hmm. With, um, I remember reading a document uh, by Scott, uh, I think it was called Primal Eating, I think that's... Um, Scott Sonnet? By Scott Sonnet, yeah. Um, and, I, and I started following that, and I had a very similar feeling that I got when I came out of the juice cleanse, but that was more long term. When I started going into it more, then I started seeing, uh, uh, I started finding people that were even trying to uh, pin it down even more what it was, and that's where I tapped into the ketogenic diet. Mm -hmm. We did our version of the ketogenic diet, which is, uh, we're not, we don't have any animal product, well, sorry, that's not true, we don't use any dairy on it, but um, it's, um, it's, it's just, it's based completely on whole foods, like, uh, um, the, the, the types of fats that we're using are coconut oil, avocados, um, uh, olive oil, rather than butter or stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with that, but just in the terms, because we want to we wanna hit the same kind of notes that we're hitting with the juice cleanse and with the raw food, uh, but add to that the ketogenic component to it. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. I'm sure there's a ton more of information that your guides give, but it's yes, nice to just kind of scrape it's the surface. Yeah, of course. It's just like a little, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, my next question for you. How do you define flow state of mind? Like, what does that mean to you in your daily life? Uh, it feels being able to effortlessly navigate obstacles for me. Uh, it's a feeling of I have the skill to, yeah, to, 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 to deal with an obstacle. Um, but not enough that it's an automatic. Like I'm still very engaged with what I would be doing. I'm, I'm very. Pre I'm, I'm not just somewhere out there doing something. Like I'm here. It's kind of hard enough. But yeah, I don't know. It's. Um, <laughs> those are like the cla <laughs> those are the classical yeah. markers for um, positive flow of psychology that um, yeah. that have been established in scholarly articles. So it's nice to hear from from your perspective yeah. that that actually is something that translates for you. So. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely, there, there is that experience of, um, yeah, you're being challenged, but you can deal with the challenge, basically, and it's, it's an awesome feeling. It's an awesome feeling, yeah. Yeah, I would imagine running a retreat center, I'm sure there's times when, you know, stressful things happen, or maybe... Many, many times, Yeah, yes. but being able to be in that flow state of mind mm -hmm. to handle it and, you know, move to the next and, you know, keep a calm state and, and hold, you know, hold your energy high is probably a pretty valuable skill to have. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it was uh, essential when we first took over. We there was there just been. Because um, you earthquake. guys just re renovated. Like, yeah, a we few did a lot ago. of renovations. Yeah, yeah. But when we first got here, it was it was a little bit after an earthquake, so there was a lot of stuff that had been um, uh, just broken, like including the cabinets and the kitchens and everything. And uh, the um, the place almost felt abandoned when we came in here because it had been closed. And when and here in a month, the jungle eats everything. So coming in from the city to this, and I, 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 you know, I left my job behind. And I was Which like, city did you come from? From Victoria, in okay. Canada, Victoria, BC. Uh, and I liked my job, so I was like, wow, like I can't believe I left this to come into like a, you know, a place that has been like taken over by the jungle. The skills from being able to to constantly, like little by little, just working a little little thing.